549, and we want to bring in meteorologist Michelle Muscatella, Mother Nature, putting on quite a show overnight. Oh. A lot of people awake this morning. Vigorous lightning, downpour, street flooding, reports yeah. of homes and businesses struck by lightning. It's been quite the night. Mm -hmm. So we want to take a look at some of the conditions across southern New England right now with our live radar. And you can see it's now focused over eastern Massachusetts for the heavy rain and thunderstorms. It's pretty much made its way out of Rhode Island, tail end of the showers in the ocean state right now. But we still have a lot of thunder and lightning right along 195 and 495 right now. Cape Cod Canal, Wareham. These are moving now over Martha's Vineyard. Falmouth still seeing quite a few lightning storms. Strikes. And then even into Plymouth County in the south shore of Boston, still getting some downpours. A last little bit of showers over Pawtucket right now and into the Cumberland area. And a few showers still on the East Bay. But the worst of the stormy weather has moved through quite the night. Here's a look at those showers and thunderstorms rolling across the area. Again, they were loud. They had some intense rainfall, but they weren't severe. We didn't have the damaging winds or the hail or tornado risk that you see in a typical severe storm, but we did get some street flooding, and here's the reason why. You can see those rainfall totals up over an inch and a half in Seekonk and in Providence, about an inch and a half of rain in Warwick, uh, Warren, Newport with about an inch and a quarter at last check in Coventry with over an inch of a rainfall. It's warm and it's muggy, so as we dry out and see the clouds clear out, we're going to have a warm launching spot here for our temperatures, and it's push us up into the 80s for highs this afternoon. Currently lower to middle 60s with those high dew points. Winds light, that calm in Providence and in Newport right now. This little cluster of thunderstorms from an upper level disturbance is rolling across the area this morning. Behind it, we will get a drop in the humidity as the day goes on. You can see those storms again continuing to slide east through the end, beginning part of the morning. Commute lunchtime, we're mostly sunny and dry. And we've got a quiet afternoon expected. There's a very small chance of an additional isolated shower popping up this afternoon, but most of the region going to be just warm and dry. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, mostly sunny skies, and we'll keep that going for tomorrow afternoon. So, this morning, plan on the clouds clearing out, warm and humid. 10 a.m. by noontime, we're up around 80 degrees. Check out these afternoon highs today. It's going to be a warm one all the way down to the coastline with mostly a west wind, upper 70s to around 80 degrees in Charlestown, Narragansett, and Newport, 80 in Tiverton, middle 80s, Providence, Woonsocket, situate in Coventry in the low to mid 80s, and we'll see those high temperatures 80 to 85 in Seekonk, Attleboro, Fall River, and New Bedford, dry, mostly sunny this afternoon. We're seeing that clearing off the beach as well. Clouds to sunshine, about 78 at the shore today. Water temperature near 63. Those west and southwest winds continue on the bay, light at about 5 to 10 knots with the waves 1 to 3 feet. No weather related issues expected for this evening. Warm start to the evening, still near 80 at 6 o'clock, and then dropping into the 60s, eventually overnight lows. A little bit cooler than what we're waking up to this morning, upper 50s to lower 60s. And here's the seven day forecast. Dry day tomorrow, highs around 83 degrees with warm sunshine, and then upper 70s for Wednesday and Thursday. Next chance of showers Thursday night and Friday. You can get the updated forecast at